okay everyone this is it the kiln shows it was 118 it's gone down to 117 so definitely should be okay to open up now this is what every potter waits for it's like kind of like christmas morning um, a little bit nervous and excited at the same time. So let's do it. You can feel the warmth coming up. Ooh, I got some nice drips there. Ooh, oh, that one went over the edge, but okay. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm excited. All right. So here are my witness cones, cone seven. I put them too close together, but that it hit that one. So I would say... That's the five and the six. That's going to be a very good, um, I'd say, cone six firing. Still warm to touch. Not hot, but warm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this was a last... Oh, I like this. Okay, this was a last minute sort of put together here. And that is uh, the frosted lemon, the Mako frosted lemon with sea salt so sea salt first and frosted lemon so pretty oh my goodness i really like that even on the frosted lemon on its own on top of the uh the marbled clay so that was a kind of a last minute decision to make that one and i'm glad i did um so this is a planter still a little bit warm i'll come off planter oh I got a drip there okay well I'll sand that again this was a a decision I made this was winter wood and um, sandstone for this little planter and I didn't know how much it would drip it dripped a bit there but that's okay that's quite cute another little planter I have a matching little plate and this is on a, a really dark clay that I use this is um, Laguna I think it's number 80. Anyways, it's a, a really dark clay and I quite like it. So very nice. This is the plate for it. So that's turned out pretty good. All right, happy with that. That was also kind of a test on colorings too. Got a couple of test tiles here which I'll have to get the details for. I'm not sure I care for that one. That didn't do much. So maybe too much. I might have to play around with that one. That is one of my try tested and true, I believe, but it could be something different. Actually, maybe that's the, oh, I think this is the pink, sunset pink with uh, flux. And I hadn't tried that before, but I'll have to double check uh, with my notes and I'll, I'll make sure I detail all that information later. Um, some more test tiles. Ooh, I don't like that. So, and I think I know what that is, but I have to look at it. So that's why we do tests, right? Sometimes I get impatient, but uh, it's important to do some test tiles. And yeah, I'm not thrilled with these. Okay, so I'll have to dissect it a little bit more. Now this one, ooh, oh, look at those drips. See, so having your, um, Having this to elevate it, it allowed for the glaze to drip, but it barely, it just went over the edge of the pot. Whoops. There. You can see the drips upside down. So I'm going to have to sand those down. <laughs> but wow. So I think I did do the right choice with this glaze. I really quite like it, actually. Um, this was, I could do a little bit more on the inside, not so, not so... It went very speckly, very interesting how that went so speckly. That's Norse blue on top of that, that black clay that is Laguna clay. Um, and this was the sea salt underneath. So sea salt and Norse blue. Nice. I knew it was gonna run, but I wasn't sure how much. So, and then this ran off. I have to do a little sanding, but oh, I do like it. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty on the dark red clay. Ah. Oh. So I got a drip there. Let's see if I can, I might have to use a hammer to get that off and then I'll just sand that. But, oh, look at those drips. Look at those lovely drips. That color is gorgeous. Oh, and that's the albalone on the inside. Remember I gambled with that. 
I like it. So I have to fix that. All right. So that's the top shelf. So if you have control, get some of these, especially if you're doing drippy glazes, because trust me, they save a lot of time having to clean up your kiln. <sighs> okay, moment of truth, next shelf. pretty stuff in here. Some drippy drips. Okay, what do I bring up first? Let's, let's see how warm they are. Pretty warm. Oh, did that one come up? Oh, it ran off too. So this is the, the pear. So I got a, t a nice, some good drips. Look at those drips. Ay, chihuahua. So I'm going to have to knock that off and give it a sand. So hopefully and that's because, look at, you know what, that's my fault. See, the pot was not level. It's on a little bit of an angle, and I didn't notice that, so it ran a little bit more. But, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I just love this. So this was, um, oh boy, abalone on the inside. Um, I believe abalone on the inside. I have to look it up. Oh my goodness, what is this? Winter wood and um, lavender mist. So abalone, winter wood, lavender mist. How stunning. I think I gotta call this one because I've, I've done it now a couple of times on different clay. So here is on this one. This is on a, on a mixed clay and this is on the dark clay. I love it there because you get some of that richness peeking through, right? from the rim. I am definitely going to do this, but I'm going to think I'm going to call this like melted ice cream. That's what that looks like, a melted ice cream. So I have to fix that. Hopefully it'll, I'll be able to get that off. Cross our fingers. Um, oh, I had some more meltdowns in here. Oh, that. Oh, that's nice. That turned out very nice. Not so much on the bottom. I didn't put enough glaze. See, that was the yellow. Oh, I didn't put enough poo. Um, that would have been better. Darn it. But this is, um, oh my goodness, why am I drawing a blank? These are Potter's Choice with the Lustrous Jade and Dark Green. And it gives this gorgeous combo, but I didn't put enough on the bottom. But a pretty little mug. And that was a Laguna Clay as well that I was playing around with a little bit. This is the pear and it dripped off a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have to try to snap that, see what I can do. Hopefully it won't take any of the base off. If it doesn't, then I can just sand it. See, same thing, I missed a little bit at the bottom because I just used a bit of the yellow. Remember I put a little bit of the, the uh, what's gonna call it, sun, um, frosted lemon there. But I'm getting some good idea. Oh, see this. This is the coveted. This is my one of my favorite glazes. Um, oh, how pretty that is! This is my this is my combo: sunset pink with um, sunset pink, uh, coyote sunset pink with um, Archie's Bay. Pretty. I love drips. Do I love drips? I love drips. Okay, this one dripped, but not too much. Just enough to kiss the shelf. It kissed the shelf so I can sand that easily. That I wasn't sure. That is the sea salt with the um, sea salt with um, Norse blue. So definitely a heavier coat of Norse blue is better than the light coat um, in the other mug. But uh, so beautiful. I love that. I might do something, play with it a little bit different. But that's, that's, that's a gorgeous combo in my books. Um, these were new, oh, look at that, oh, it kissed it. Oh, how pretty. So this is the Rust Brown, Archie's Base, that's what I was looking about, Ar Rust Brown with Archie's Base. How absolutely stunning is that? I don't know, I might need to get a hammer and I'll, I'll do that. But that is so pretty, I like that too. Definitely be using that combo, but with a little more caution. Another one. Oh, again, always just one drip, one drip too far. 
Look at these, look at these. I think these are called Dragon's Tears. Aren't they pretty? So that one, that went right down and under. I might lose the foot. Again, I wasn't careful. I put it on this, but it's crooked. So naturally it dribbled a bit farther. So note to self, but how pretty. It's interesting how the Archie's base picks up the pink that's in the clay. How gorgeous. There's all right, my witness cones, cone seven, cone six, cone five, perfect. Very good, see the cone six? It just, it just bent over enough to kiss it. Okay, cross our fingers. There's some nice stuff in here. All right, let's hope everything has. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 that, that didn't, something went wrong there. Shoot, that crawled badly. Why? Ow. So for whatever reason, didn't come off the, the, the body, but it really crawled off the, the areas. That's interesting. Oh, that's a bit hot to hold. I wonder why. Is it too heavy, too thick? Hmm. Anybody have any thoughts on that? Why it would crawl so much? This was Norse blue and lavender mist. Maybe, maybe it was just too heavy? Oh, that's disappointing. Both of them did it, that combo. It just doesn't like this clay. Hmm. Some more, oh, so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. That is the sunset pink. Never fails. I get such lovely ooey gooey drips. Sunset pink with the, uh, another one. Sunset pink. This was on the marbled clay. And uh, Archie's base. Both of them are coyote. Another one. Oh, this is like strawberry ice cream. Stunning, very happy with these. These have always gotten good results. Now, some stuff I've not done before. Ooh, I like this. This, oh, that's the albalone on the inside. And I did sea salt and um, lavender mist. That turned out kind of neat. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I know I got that. There's another one of it. Slightly more pink in this particular when I did this marbled clay. Very nice. Now. All right, what do we got going on in here? So these were a first time go, oh, I like it. Ooh, that's really pretty. Again, I'm glad I did the drip. Oh, I like that. So that's got the um, yellow. I did three coats of the frosted lemon frost, frosted lemon on the inside. And the outside is the um, winter wood and lavender mist. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful killer combo right there. I will be definitely doing lots of stuff with that. And it's nice on this clay body. I like that. Happy with that. And that was a first time go because I only just got that lemon yellow, or I keep calling it lemon yellow, frosted lemon. And last but not least, this is the other one that melted off, that crawled, my goodness. Like, look inside, outside, everywhere. It just did not like this clay body. That's strange because I've done a test tile and it was fine. So I don't know about that. That's confusing to me. I mean, it looks interesting, but... Please, any ideas? Comment below, let me know what you think. That was a, a new shape mug I was playing with, with a handle and everything, and I like all that, just... Hmm, okay, well... Let me know your thoughts on that. And I just have some test tiles, and that's all that's left in here. Ooh, that one melted off. <laughs> so I have to look at that, what it is. 
But I like the color. Let's see if I can get that to come into shape. That to come into focus there. I, l I like it. I guess I'd have to be careful with it. Um, interesting. Even that's interesting. Huh. I have to look at what it is. It, my guess it's winter wood and indigo rain, I think. That's kind of neat. On the outside of a monk. Alright, let's try it. Let's see what we can do. I got some glasses on, protective wear. So what I'm gonna do is just give this a good whack and see if I can get this to come off just with a hammer. That's how I do it. And a little injury to the foot, ever so slight, but I will sand that and make it still usable. But that's very pretty. So that's one. sand off nicely that's a good one because that I can sand down perfectly so definitely worth it just use some rec reclaimed clay and make it and I can't take credit for those that is um, I don't know if you've ever followed him old forge pottery um, he uh, he's he's the one who does that and it's actually really quite smart and he has a video on how to make them so I'm gonna do it on this one too Hope I don't lose a foot on this one. It's where the glaze went. So, cross your fingers, guys. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'll be able to sand that and it didn't break the foot. Perfect. So I'll just sand that right down. I have these great sanders. Maybe I'll show you. Okay. Perfect. That's what you want. Just like that, because I can sand that smooth it takes a little bit of the kit of the cookie with it but perfect thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video um, more glazing and um, some trimming videos coming up and let me know if there's something else you want to see share with me on some topics you can also follow me on instagram i'm there uh, as well sarah walton pottery with just an underscore between the sarah walton and the pottery um, and, uh, yeah, so I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.